His name was Scott Corey, and I hear he's still working here. I'd love to do his portrait in watercolor and gouache, and since it looks like it might rain, I'll need to be partly indoors to keep from getting too wet. I'm here with urban sketcher Mark Taro Holmes. I'm working in a watercolor sketchbook and I'm starting out by drawing a lay-in using water-soluble colored pencils. Some people wouldn't have had a root cellar. Some people would have dug a pit out in their garden and, you know, stored stuff in the ground like that. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this root cellar, yeah, you better believe it. This yeah. wintertime thing would have been brutal. Yeah. You think about it today, you lose your you lose your central heat in your house and you can't stay in your house because it's so cold. Now we yeah. got storm windows and our walls are packed with insulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago, we had a group of uh, plain air painters who came in on a regular basis. Yeah. 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 No, awesome. Now, the colors I'm using are black, cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue, carmine red, burnt sienna, cadmium red, and zinc white. I squeeze these out onto a damp paper towel and I'm using a round synthetic brush. Now, the reason I'm getting the gouache out here is because I'm not happy with the way that the face is looking. And I know I can fix it with gouache, but it might take some major surgery. First off, I want to turn his head to the left, and I want to make his eyes a little bit more squinted closed, because that's the way they look most of the time. So I start right over the watercolor. Uh, we've taken pork and we've kind of changed it around genetically so there's not a lot of fat in it. But if you look at these big black hogs that we have. And I want to just place the features first, the eyebrows, the mouth, the edge of the nose, and then the shadow side of the face. Because the light is um, coming from the right through the open doorway of the barn, uh, the left side of the face is going to be much darker you had left from making cheese was going in there the way now the buttermilk that's left from making butter that's how you're fattening your your hog so it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been grain it was all leftover dairy product yeah. and now you'd have a corresponding number of pigs to how many cows you had in milk so you could utilize all that product mm -hmm. these people now today we take that leftover whey and buttermilk and we put it into other goods these people are thinking I got to use this before it spoils and that would have been feeding it to your pigs but yeah lad would have been huge yeah we were saying we're lucky we're lucky that each of these lines goes down pretty fast especially in these areas of the shirt and the jacket which are not nearly as important as the face so you had someone sketch your portrait before or is this the first time I thought it was pretty great, yeah. Especially by a world famous artist. I didn't. I. I had no idea. I had no idea I was in such company. And this is just the stuff he was willing to tell me. There's probably there's probably all kinds of other secrets that I have no idea about. Trying to be sparing with smaller details, just a few accents here or there. can soften the edges of the hair where it meets the background. One thing I think about as I'm painting is to make every stroke count. Think before I lay down a stroke. In this case, this is the light coming in the window. 